Hey, what's going on, beautiful jellyfish? It's Tracy. Thanks so much for taking a little bit of time out of your day to hang out with me. I do have the cats in here with me. As you can see, Zelda is just chilling behind there, just hanging out. Leia's over there. She's in a box. She's very happy. Um, but in today's video, I just kind of wanted to do a video talking about black commanders for EDH. I'm just going to be talking about five and pretty much what I do with this video is like I talk about it and like how you could build this deck and kind of like that. And I think I have, yeah, I only have one of these decks, but these are like if I ever did decide to build this deck, this is basically what I would do with it. We're going to be talking about mono black commanders in this video. Again, just five of them because I feel like any more can get a little bit overwhelming. But yeah, I'm just going to talk about like how I would build the deck. So let's hop into it. Let's first start talking about Micaeus. We're obviously talking about the black Micaeus here, the unhollowed, not the white Micaeus. But Micaeus is a very interesting card. And I feel like you could do, to be honest, a lot of stuff with him, um, even though it might not seem like it. So when I saw Micaeus at first, I was like zombie tribal and I have Micaeus and that is actually how I build it. I will list if I remember my deck tech in the video um, in the description and just in case you want to check it out in case you missed it and you are thinking about building a Micaeus themed deck. And again, it's zombie tribal. But with that being said, I don't think there's anything wrong if you just wanted to take this and you just wanted to build and just do like just a bunch of really good like black value creatures. And obviously you want to make sure that they're non-human because to be honest, if you're running Micaeus, I just, it doesn't make sense to run humans because of his second ability, but let's kind of break him down as a creature. First off, he's got Intimidate. So one route that you could go is by doing a lot of damage with him. I've killed people with Micaeus. Have I killed people with Micaeus before? Probably. I mean, like he's a 5-5 five five, to be honest. So like the likelihood of doing that is pretty high. Um, Whenever you, human deals damage, you destroy it. You would not, you would be surprised by how relevant this ability is. It's really great when it's someone's commander too and you just like they just can't swing with their commander because like they're just gonna try a lot of people forget let me tell you a lot of people forget about this ability and they're like they're like attack with my whatever and i was like okay take three and i'm like it dies and they're like what and i was like yeah uh Micaiah's. a lot of people forget about this ability and his last ability probably i mean like Micaeus is just a very well-rounded card in and of itself but when um, other non-human creatures you control get plus one, plus one. So this is really relevant because your team gets a little buff, which I personally really love, and they have Undying, so they come back. That's why the zombie tribal just totally works with Micaeus. But again, if you were just going to build it around really solid um, creatures and making a sort of like Undying themed deck with him, totally cool. I will say zombie tribal is extremely good. And one thing I will say about Micaeus that you can do, and you can do this in zombie tribal, is you could make token zombie tribal, or you can just make like zombies. Do you know what I mean? I kind of have a hybrid of both. I would say I probably have more just like regular zombies than I do like ways of getting zombies. With that being said though, Micaeus, extremely good commander. Um, if you're thinking about building him and you're building some sort of zombie tribal or just like an undying theme deck, I definitely recommend it. It's a lot of fun. Okay, let's, we can't let Micaeus have like all the fun, like come on, or as I like to call him Mikey, because like, let's be honest. Um, I don't know. Anyone else have like names for creatures? You know how like we've got like Steve and Bob, whatever, like that's Mikey, you know? Uh, okay, the next uh, card that we are talking about is Ayara, who is a new one from Throne of Eldraine. I mean, really, when I say new, Throne of Eldraine's been out for like, what, like a year? No, months. I don't know. Has anyone just like no concept of time? Because of course, indeed, I'm like, what day is it? I have no idea. Work has at least gotten me back on like some sort of pattern and some sort of regimen. But anyways, Ayara. Um, yeah, as soon as Anara was like spoiled, I mean, I was immediately like shocked. Like she's amazing. I really like her a lot. So um, she's three mana, which is great. She's a very low costing commander, which is awesome. Um, so whenever her or another black creature enters the battlefield, each opponent loses one and you gain one. This is just a solid, like, you could do so many things with this. You can do extort with this. A lot of people don't know this, but extort is actually, if, even if you're not running white, you can actually run extort or vice versa. If you're running white, you can have extort, even though it has black in the reminder text, which a lot of people don't know. So, um, IR, you could do a bunch of like extort stuff with her. And I think that would be really cool. But the main thing thing with her I feel like is you just want to put out dudes you want to put out like like oh my gosh her with wait is she human no she's an elf her with Micaeus come on that would be awesome okay like run her and then have Micaeus in there that sounds amazing so yeah pump pumping out dudes um I, I I'm picturing a lot of like um 
a lot of like blood artisty like type of effects you just want things dying and my initial thought was like tokens maybe you could do some sort of like sacrifice theme stuff with her which would be like really 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 cool um but yeah and then I would also say okay so then with her other ability is you um sack um another black creature to draw a card so my thought was like doing things that would like untap her and I'm not really thinking of many good ways in this color to do that I like I know there's a lot of ways in like there's some that I'm thinking of in green and then blue has that. I'm not really sure of any ways. So if you are building her, I would definitely look into that and see if maybe like there's an artifact or something that you can like tap or untap creatures because I think that would be really good. But my thought behind her was you do it with tokens that you don't really care about. Or one thing you could totally do is you kind of run um, things where you sack something and then it has a, tr a trigger when it dies. And then you kind of get the full effect because you get whatever sort of trigger with it with like when it dies. And then you also get to draw a card, which is a extremely good with her so overall I just think she's really good I think doing recursion with her is also just really strong you could totally go a couple of different routes with Ayara and I think all would be just like really good um I feel like I'm kind of talking myself into this right now about doing some sort of like just I don't need another mono black deck is the thing I'm like I feel that way too like I have Avacyn and mono white I don't want to make another mono white deck you know what I mean it's just kind of like even if it would be totally different I still think um it would be like a little bit too similar to me so I don't know that's just kind of my jam um, but anyways, Ayara, really, really, really strong. You could do a lot of really fun things with her. Okay, uh, next we're going to be talking about Drana, and you might have thought about the, uh, the newer Drana, but I'm talking about the old Drana. So fun fact about her. I had a friend who actually had this deck, and it was dumb. This was a long time ago, man, like that I remember this 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 deck and what it did, but I've I've never I don't I've never really seen anything like it. I think because Drana is such an interesting commander that I feel like that's kind of one reason I wanted to talk about her is like, yeah, Micaeus, like you've probably seen a Micaeus deck before. Like you've you've seen people with that, like Zombie Tribal, whatever, but like like you don't really see people with Drana decks. She's rad. Okay. So first off like five mana for a four four flyer like that's good you can kill people with commander damage and that's the point friends you kill people with commander damage here so a lot of people don't know what she does so it's x double black target creature gets minus o minus x until end of turn and she gets plus x plus o so basically you run things with really big toughness I don't know why, but, like, my head thought of, like, Yu-Gi-Oh, and then I was like, attack, defense, and I was like, that's not right, we're in the wrong card game. But anyways, my thought was running cards like Tree of the Black Tree, I think I wrote it down here, Tree of Per, Per Edition, why can't I say that word? That card, oh, there's a picture on the screen so you can see it, but you run cards like this. And I'm pretty sure that that would work. Yeah, because you don't have to kill a creature. So what is really cool about this is you can pump as much mana into this as you want, and you just kill people with commander damage. So now, obviously that might not be the whole like theme of the deck you know what I mean like you're gonna run that and that can be like your main thing because again you just want to kill people with her like come on that just must be so satisfying so another thing you could do is just any sort of like you know like recursion you could just run like big black things like you know there's like there's there's a lot of other stuff that you could do a lot of like similar stuff to what I've talked about um here and then I also mentioned like possibly like a doing a sort of like loss um life loss like doing any sort of like effects like that um and then just doing kind of like mass damage just kind of running like really cool black cards like I read on here like um Sower of Discord because this card is just like really good like any sort of like cards like these I think would like fit really well in this type of deck but to be honest I think as long as if you build this deck I think keeping in mind that you want to pump her and kill people via commander damage and then the rest of the cards you could just run whatever you want you know what I mean like if I were to build this I would probably just run like nice black bodies like that's just what I would do you know what I mean is I would just run like big dumb things like in in this sort of color scheme um and then also just any sort of like lo life loss that sort of type stuff and also draw cards because that's the best thing you can do in magic okay um okay L speaking of like really big black cards we have Razaketh oh my gosh okay like I I remember like the first time I saw Razaketh, like the first time we laid eyes, like love at first sight. I mean, like, let's be honest, like, do I fall in love with every magic card that I play? Probably. He was one of the cards that I fell in love with that I was immediately like, you need to go in Tassigur, like ASAP. And then people slept on this card. Anyone remember people sleeping on this card? And you could buy a Razaketh for like, like non-foil for like $5. And now the foil is like $25 because everyone was like, oh, the card's really good. Yeah, no, of course this card is amazing. Okay, he's like 7,000 million mana. Like, I understand. You're definitely going to be playing this in like a little um, later stage of the game. I would definitely say if you are planning on building him, 
definitely make sure you're running a lot of mana acceleration, a lot of mana rocks, things like that, because he is a lot of mana. And if he dies, it's just going to keep going up and up and up, um, which, you know, you're playing black. So there's, there's um, a really solid chance that, you know, he's going to die, whether you're by hand, whether it's by your hand or by somebody else's. Regardless, um, he, okay, let's like, let's just break this down because there's a lot of stuff, there's a lot to unpack here. Killing people with commander damage. I mean, three hits from him, I mean, that's like enough to kill somebody and that's definitely an avenue that you could go. Um, obviously you need to do like other things other than just killing people with your commander. Like, you know, your deck's gonna do other sort of things, but that's a really solid avenue. He's also got flying and trample, so, you know, makes it challenging. A um, little bit of evasion there to help that. Um, and then you can just pay two life. You know, I think, and just to pay two life to tutor for anything, which is great. Um, you do have to sacrifice another creature, um, you can't sacrifice him. It has to be another creature, so you can't sack him. Um, let's just say if he dies or anything like that, but you know, you can sack anything. So again, I would do kind of sort of similar stuff with Ayara. Um, I, I would run this on Ayara. I, a lot of these I'd run in the other type sort of things, but, um, one thing I would say with him is running, like, some sort of, like, fodder, things that you don't mind if they die, maybe, like, some tokens, um, or, again, just those cards that when this creature dies, X happens, those sorts of types of things, I think would be extremely good with Razaketh, um, because, again, you get to tutor, you can do this as many times as you want, like, again, I think that's why people just slept on it, people are like, oh, you probably gotta, like, tap him or something, no, you could just do this as many times as you have life, um, so possibly you might want to consider some life gain, um, in this deck, if you do build this, do build this, you might want to see how your deck goes in terms of that, you might realize, wow, I find myself using Razaket's ability a lot, which you should be doing, um, and so that you could win the game. You know, I think if you're building him and you wanted this to be really, like, I don't want to say try hard, because again, I think he is a lot of mana, and I think to build this in really, really competitive stages, I think could be hard, but I could say you could definitely build this deck and make this a really solid six or seven. If you're running, like, infinite combos or things like that, I'm thinking, like, Sanguine Bond, Exquisite Blood. I would also run these again in, like, everything, basically, because you're playing black, so why not run those cards? Um, they're really good as that infinite combo. Um, and you could definitely do other sort of, um, jank things and, and other sort of, like, really powerful things with him. Um, yeah, did I say anything else? Um, you know what's funny is, as I said that, I wrote in my notes, I wrote this just a really a long time ago, and I said, may not be for higher power level groups. To be honest, I feel like commander is, I think a lot of times when people look at a commander and they say that's a powerful commander and they don't look at the rest of the 99 and I think that's a really huge mistake because to be honest I think every commander can be really great and it can also be really weak it just depends on what cards you put in it you know what I mean you can just quote me on that Tracy Stano running for office 2032 that's my political slogan here to defeat the Eldrazi. Okay let's talk about Massacre Girl. Um okay so when I first saw this card I was really confused by this card. Um, like, I I don't know. I, I, I misread this card a lot, and I, I think... I feel like people misread this card, and maybe I'm just saying that because I misread this card, but basically, it's only it only happens when she enters the battlefield. So if you can find a way to flicker her, that might not be bad, but I'm not thinking of any flicker abilities that are not, like... I'm thinking, like, Rune has, like, flicker abilities, but that's not black. But anyways, regardless, if she dies, hey, great, you just get to recast it, and you don't even really care. But when her... Each other creature gets minus one, minus one until end of turn. And whenever a creature dies, each creature other than her gets minus one, minus one. So my thought process behind this is you play a lot of when you're when you're making this build you need to be very conscious of the power and toughness that you're playing so for example you need a variety of one ones and two twos and three threes so that you can get max full value off of her and what's really 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 good is she does not take those minus one minus one triggers so you just have a board wipe as a commander like who authorized that? That's amazing. A board wipe as a commander, it's like, you're never like, oh man, I really need to deal with the board. Well, guess what? I can just play my commander. So yes, I love that. Um, She's got that evasion. She's got the menace, which is really, really, really good. Um, I would just say like death triggers. Like you just want mad death triggers and you want to make sure your, your deck is, again, has a lot of things with different... Um, one ones and two twos to get full effect with her. Um, And then I was also thinking of things like... um 
like sacrifice themes with her as well I think would be really cool I was thinking a card like Plague Crafter again I think Plague Crafter is a great example of a card that's very well rounded that you could run a variety of these decks and I think that they would totally work Ayara you know that's a card that I would think would work um but like things like that any any sort of things I think you could do a lot of really fun like discard uh sorry not discard a lot of fun um just like sacrifice types of things with her and again she's just a board I've been one which is really great so I definitely feel like again like what I was saying earlier, you could definitely make her really powerful, but I would say she'd probably be um, in the more like lower of the power level types of decks. I feel like if I were to build her, I wouldn't make this as a really big like try her deck. It would just be kind of, it would just be silly. You would do a lot of jank shenanigan -y types of things, but um, yeah, like that was it for this video, y'all. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if it's helpful to kind of talk about like power levels and all that kind of stuff. Um, I just think like I'm kind of still trying to figure out how I'm kind of trying to like find my footing in these videos I kind of figure out like how I'd like to talk about these sorts of things because again I'm talking about this where like if I were to build this this is what I would do this is the power level I would make it those are sort of things but let me know like what's helpful and all that kind of stuff because I can always like cater these videos towards like what y'all um are thinking but yeah anyways that's it for me I hope you guys like this video um like it if you did subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll catch you guys in my next one